Here we have a snow flame running on crushed old pits. Uh, this stove has been modified to uh, put a lot more air through the fire pot to get the pits to burn. And you can see it burns with a very uh, aggressive fire. The modifications to the stove are like this induction unit here where the blades have been the blades have been turned over and then straightened out so that it actually produces a lot more air being sucked out of the out of the fire. Uh, the only other actual change is that we've put a short uh, exhaust on the on the outside of the house to get the um, smoke a bit further away because we're finding that it tends to draw the, some of the smoke back in and um, that's not good. Uh, and the other changes that we've made is that all of the um, energy saver shields have been removed and the uh, air wash slide has been closed right up to get maximum air through the pot rather than around the pot. Uh, which means that the glass tends to smoke up a bit quicker, but um, that's a trade-off for using the fuel. Uh, the pit burns hotter than uh, pallets and wheat if, if you can get the air through them like this. And um, the only other issue we get is that there's a, there can be a roar coming out of the out of the fire as, as it goes up and down. Um, most of you won't hear it on the on the video, but. Uh, when it, uh, as it burns down now, when it starts to flare up again, it starts to roar. So we've uh, designed a small plate. So this is where it's going up. So you may hear the hear the roar. No, it's very very quiet. But anyway, the way of uh, the way to reduce that roar problem is to put in uh, this plate that we've got here. We just put that into the in on top of the burn pot. It looks pretty basic, but there's been a fair bit of design hit and miss going to getting this right, and it just um, breaks up the uh, breaks up the, the fire and stops it from roaring up into the top of the uh, the heater and it cools it down a little bit. The main thing is that it uh, reduces the noise; it doesn't overly impact the performance. So the fuel we're using is, is the, the crushed dollar pits, these ones here. Now, um, they're an excellent fuel, but they do need to be well prepared. Uh, they need to be uh, mechanically dried and cleaned uh, because any uh, extraneous matter that's in them just uh, blocks in the chute. And um, if, there's, if the moisture is over about 5%, then it just reduces the performance of the fire. Uh, so. These have been dried in a, in a hopper dryer and then um, had the uh, dust and fluff blown out uh, before it's been uh, used. But um, as you can see, there's the, there's the fire running with the plate and uh, there's no, uh, no noise and um, we're getting good clean flame and uh, lots of heat. So really the uh, yellow pits are a good fuel. Uh, they just require uh, require that uh, extra bit of processing, and um, and the fire just needs to be modified that tiny bit to uh, make it handle them. Then it's quite okay. Okay, thank you.